The Lagos State House of Assembly has passed the 2020 appropriation bill into law. The House of Assembly approved a sum of 1.168 trillion naira as budget size for the new fiscal year. Lagos Assembly correspondent Abimbola Agbebi has the story. On the 18th of November this year, the House committed the proposed 2020 appropriation bill to a joint committee of the House comprising the Finance and Appropriation Committees. After weeks of intense scrutiny of the proposed budget, it was time for the committees to present its report. Within the three-week period of engaging the ministries, departments and agencies, the committee findings showed the need to increase the state internally generated revenue. Having dotted the I's and crossed the T's, the bill scaled the third reading. Proposed total personnel cost, 167 billion, 814 million naira. The House made the good its promise to residents of the state by making the passage of the money bill their New Year gift. Budget size of 1 trillion, 168 billion, 561 million, 893,990 naira for the year ending 31st December 2020. The approved as the budget for, of the year 2020. All in favor, say ayes. Those against nay, their eyes have it. The theme agenda that are critical vehicles in driving this budget as highlighted by Governor Babajide Sonwulu are transportation and traffic management, health and environment, education and technology, entertainment and tourism, security and governance. Abimbola Agbibi, TV's News, Lagos. Joining me now for more on uh, this uh, fiscal document is Chairman of the Lagos State House Committee on Finance, Rotimi Olowo. It's good to have you join us on TVC News at 10. It's my pleasure. Good evening. Uh, the year 2020 appropriation bill has now been passed by Assembly members. And uh, what more should people know about uh, this document? Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you very much. It's a very good question. Uh, I think this year's, next year's budget is going to be a great departure from the previous budget because the budget is a bit uh, more capital intensive and uh, more money has been um, um, a mark for capital as against overhead. The budget structure is in such a manner that uh, we witness a lot of uh, infrastructural development because 711 billion as a mark for capital expenditure, why just uh, about 457 billion for overhead or what we call a current expenditure. So in the areas of uh, infrastructural development, uh, about 128 billion is a mark for uh, the Ministry of um, Works and Infrastructure. Then when you look at transportation, we are going to have transportation uh, mix in which we are going to have integrated transportation system where we are going to annex our water, body water, and we are going to annex Great transportation. Uh, by 2021, by the grace of God, I think uh, the blue line would have been delivered. Uh, coming here, we are going to do a bathymetric survey of the of the water at ensuring that we get our routes and uh, more uh, ferry will be in place. And uh, we have collaboration with uh, with our foreign investor in such a manner that uh, they bring their own rolling stock as well. By and large, it's going to be a year of fulfillment to many Lagosians because we know today. Uh, Lagos is overstretched, uh, the roads is overstretched in terms of uh, the frequency of our uh, movement. And uh, you know, we make the same linear movement every morning we go to the island, in the evening we, we come back to our respective uh, locations. We are going to diversify that. And uh, we, again, we are looking at issues about us on the education of our children as, as well. I think about 47 billion has been earmarked for education. We are secondary school. Uh, primary school, they will have some degree of autonomy in terms of our uh, ability to manage their respective schools. Health is not left out. We are going to have health from local government where we have our PhD to the state where we have the general hospital and to the tertiary institutions where we have um, the likes of Lasso and Bagada in such a manner that 
you don't need to move some kilometers to get health facilities. You, what do you need in Bagada or in Lasso when you have primary health center and you have only malaria? You don't need to go there. So we are going to structure in such a manner. I will tap in to the universal health coverage of the federal government. We are there will be contribution for federal government. The state will make contribution and local government okay. in such a manner that uh, we, whether you are poor or you are rich, you have access to health, health institutions. Right, so that fiscal document contains a whole lot that should happen in 2020. 2020, by the All grace right. of God. The Finance Committee, you heard, did some scrutiny uh, in the course before this was eventually passed. So talk to us about some of the findings you made in the course of that scrutiny. Yes, you know, we were a bit wary of the fact that year in, year out, uh, the issue of uh, budget reordering. To me, budget reordering is just a testimony of the fact that the budget has not performed as expected. So this year, we look, we criti critically look into those uh, revenue generating agencies. Attention that what they've done before, we use what I call trend analysis to determine whether they have the capacity or what are the gaps that, are, um, that serve as bottleneck to achieving the set target. So we look at that, then we look at the resources they actually require that will make it seamless for them to achieve the set target. So that's the reason why we took our time to look at that and to make sure that this budget is feasible, is mm -hmm. practicable, is achievable, so that we don't go back to the issue of reordering again. Against the backdrop of the fact again that, okay, in 2019, we have gone to the bond market and the secondary market to borrow about 250 billion. Part of this money will be part of what we are going to use in 2000 and, and 2020 so that the revenue generating agencies are mobilized, are, are given all the resources they require to achieve the set targets, especially the likes of LRS, uh, LAPCA, LASPA, and the Ministry of Lands. They really need some resources to it. So we look at those issues holistically, attention that we have a balanced budget because a budget must be balanced so that it meets all the aspirations of uh, all those sectors. Mm. All right then, Chairman of the Lagos State House Committee on Finance, Rutsimi Olowo, many thanks for joining us on TVC News at Th 10. Thank you very much.